I'm Barbara Hannigan, and I was festival director in 2019. Um, it was an unforgettable moment in my life uh, to share this music with the audience of Ojai and to experience the adrenaline and exhilaration and communion and exhaustion and um, absolute joy in sharing our passion for live music with one another. Um, everything kind of leading up to that crazy final high note in the Gershwin Girl Crazy Suite uh, that we ended the festival with. And um, I found myself many times this summer when I was pretty secluded in Bretagne in northern France thinking about where I'd been last summer and uh, remembering what we achieved together. It's a dark and stormy night in Paris in the 11th arrondissement and I'm sharing with you a section of my bookshelf which is very special to me it focuses on the second Viennese school, that is Berg, Schoenberg, Webern. Here on the right, you see a pair of black ballet point shoes, which I wore the first time, first time I sang Lulu. Schoenberg playing cards that his daughter Nuria designed. And now Fin de siècle Vienna by Karl Schorschke, which is one of the most important books written on politics and culture at that time. And above we have even more books on Schoenberg and his contemporaries. In the middle, Schoenberg's Harmonielehre, and then more books on his work, his collaborations, his school, his circle, his photographs and paintings. And all of these books are extremely important to me, not only because it's a time period that is very fascinating to me as a musician, but also that quite a few of these books arrived recently in my home and they were given to me by the estate of my mentor and my lodestar and my musical partner, Ryan Bertileo, who passed away last February. And I had seen these books on his shelf over the years as we worked together, as we rehearsed in his home. I had taken many of them home at times to read and borrow. We had discussed many of the books. And so now to have them in my own home is um, feels like a, a rite of passage and a very important and generous presence where I live. Now you've seen my bookshelf and you've seen uh, these 
collection of books that are partly mine and partly belonging to my mentor, Reinbert de Leo, on Schoenberg and the Second Viennese School. And I spent quite a bit of time reading um, during the confinement, which is what we had in France, really true confinement. And I was in Britannia, but I had quite a few of my books with me. And I was looking, especially at the period just before Schoenberg departed from Harmony. So this was the period of time where um, Mahler was approaching his fourth symphony. And I had kind of immersed myself in a socio-political, philosophical, harmonic study of Mahler and his time. And um, it was very special to share that with several young, younger colleagues of mine. Um, we created the project together and, and met uh, on the internet to discuss what we were finding and what we were discovering. And it was, was wonderful, this, this idea of sharing knowledge and working towards um, a deep study of repertoire that we all know we're going to perform in the future. So I hope you've all been reading wonderful things and finding ways to immerse yourselves. And until we are all back together in live music again, bye for now. From my door, I got starlight, I got sweet dreams, I got my man who could ask for anything more, who could ask for